Hi guys, Sampus G here. Um, how is everybody doing today? I hope everybody is doing good. Happy Sunday. Um, for those who Sabbath is today, happy Sunday. Have a good day. Okay, folks. Um, this is um a recipe from a friend of mine. Um, she wanted me to try it. It's um fried chicken, but it's done like it's a Chinese. All Chinese done their fried chicken. No butter no um eggs are mixed up and what is happened is that folks so i'll bring the camera a little bit closer um you have so, about four chicken quarters that mean the leg and the thighs right here and overnight what i did you have to um brine it and brine mean to add sugar and salt to the to this chicken with the water and leave it overnight um to for that to soak in so uh, it's about um i think a cup of sugar half a cup of sugar and half a cup of uh no two tablespoons of sugar and two tablespoons of salt i'll leave the, all of that in the description for you and okay so the chicken is right is here right now and 24 within 24 hours it's done this is and so basically right now what i'm gonna be doing we're gonna be before we fry the chicken it's gonna be cooked for about 15 to 20 minutes not really cooked just um you know um to a state and this brine that we're gonna be making, um, it's gonna be a sauce to put the chicken in um, to cook. Um, it's gonna cook for a little while, and then we'll fry it. So, okay, so this is the chicken here right now, and I'm just gonna drain it off and rinse off the salt and the sugar from it. And this is um, called, you know, it's really a Chinese um, way of um, doing chicken. And when I see the um, the old thing, I love it because of. Oh, when we do fried chicken, um, we in a lot of butter and all of that and eggs and stuff. And this is not done that way. This is done sim simple, but a lot of meat that you're doing, folks, especially chicken, when you're roasting a chicken and stuff like that, if you put that chicken in that brine, that brine and leave it for 24, okay, you can leave it for about four, four hours. But the best result is to leave it overnight, um, you know, and then you take it out and... Um, you will season your chicken or do whatever you So right now I have about six cup of water boiling and within that um, water, I am, um, okay, I'll just tell you all the ingredients. I'm gonna leave all of this in the description. All the ingredients I'm gonna be using, okay. For the brine, it's gonna be, um, for the sauce, this is basically a sauce, it's gonna be, um, so basically I use four chicken legs, quarter, and the brine, it was in a brine for, with six cups of water with two tablespoons of salt and two tablespoons of sugar and that was left overnight okay so the broth is consists of three cups of water filter water or bottle water one cup soy sauce a quarter cup rice wine chinese what rice wine um but if you don't have that just use um i'm just using um a normal white wine um um three um two honest two um star anise and um i'll show you what that is um a half a teaspoon white pepper well i don't really use white pepper and at this you know recipe you can um you know i'm using black rock black pepper a half a teaspoon of chinese five sauce um spices i'm using my own spices but i'll leave that in there four tablespoon of um sugar six slice chopped um ginger and i'm um, four cloves of garlic and two stock a cup of stock of green onions and like i said folks um you can mix this up all you want it um because you are gonna get the same result then we're gonna boil that that um let it boil up a little bit then we have the chicken and the chicken is gonna be in that um broth for about 15 to 20 minutes then we remove it and we have to cool it and then we fry it no no butter nothing on it so right now folks um let me see you at the pot and the pot is boiling so here i have the ginger garlic and this is what honest um star of anise look like it's very beautiful so a few pieces of onion and um green onion and i'm gonna be putting in um some gar um garlic powder some i oregano some basil this and um, some um, ginger powder also. And this is my my spices here, all my spices. This is my own spices I'm using. And you could, the recipe called for a Chinese um, five spice, then you go with that. Okay, it's nothing is written in stone. And like I said, I find a lot of um, 
from you know from my cooking um you can um improvise and use what you want and basically that's it and so right now um it's gonna be i measured this out this is the last of my um oyster sauce and it's gonna be um oyster sauce and um soya sauce okay um basically i'm just going from the recipe she gave me so um you know, I'm not gonna lie, it's not mine. Um, she gave it to me. Um, okay, so, um, uh, one cup, um, soya, soya sauce and a quarter cup, um, of rice wine. And I'm just gonna be using white, white, my white wine, um, and that's the cooking white wine, okay. So I need a cup of um, soy sauce and um, you could do dark soy sauce will be preferable and I'm going to add also soya, um, some oyster sauce to it also. Uh, the smell folks is just incredible right now. So I need a cup of um, soy sauce. By the time I'm done with this, my soy sauce is going to be finished both. So I need a cup of soy, so soy sauce. So get a good soy sauce, okay? Um, okay. So that's it right now. So you know it's gonna be boiling, and I'm just gonna add about so I'm had and about a quarter cup of um not a quarter cup about a tablespoon of my special oil um oyster sauce, and we're gonna have a quarter cup of wine, white wine, and that will be cooking wine or any you know any white wine I imagine, um but if they say that a Chinese white white wine, so I'm using my um white wine um. I have <coughs> yeah and that's gonna be boiled for a little bit then everything else will be added to it so I think I have the oyster sauce okay um I also gonna add um four tablespoon of sugar and I'm gonna be using my arm um, coconut sugar it is so this coconut sugar is so nice i have a very nice flavor to it and you know it didn't call for any specific sugar so you could use whichever sugar you prefer you know nothing wrong with that so it's about four tablespoons of sugar and i think and then i'm just gonna four tablespoon and i'm using coconut sugar raw coconut sugar um this is pure this is raw, pure raw coconut sugar, and that's what I'm using. So we need four spoon, and you could use any sugar you prefer. I'm just, you know, yeah. But in the description, I'll just put the recipe straight up, and um, if you want to follow it or you want to improvise a bit, um, which uh, I, well, you know, I'm not straying far from the recipe right now because sugar is sugar, right? So that's it, yeah. And that's it there, folks. So we're gonna let that boil up a bit, so they onions and stuff cook a bit before I put the chicken in <coughs> and I'm just going to turn it on a bit just get some of that set because that thing is so 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 good all those spices boiling together Okay, and folks it's boiling up right now so I'm just gonna add the chicken and every few you know minutes I'll you know go and I'm um, just you know just basically it like put you know just say my arm procedure if when you roast the chicken I'm just gonna go in and, and just put some of all that um, moisture over it um, okay so folks right now I'm gonna be putting in the chicken and it's chicken along with the Thai and it's gonna be cooking for about 15 to 20 minutes it's not um you know it's just gonna up to a point um so by the time we fry it it'll be nice and tender yeah no blood sleep seeping out so well, I'm not gonna be covering the pot I'm just gonna leave it like that and let it do its thing then afterward I'll take them out and just let them cool a bit because it's very dangerous to fry chicken anything with water on it folks so um that I'm just gonna leave that to um chicken to cook and for 10 15 to 20 minutes 
And folks, after the chicken is cooked, then we're gonna start the next um, procedure. So we'll be, I'll be right back. Okay, folks, the chicken is done. It's 20 minutes, and I'll show you what they look like right now. See, for, and folks, we have to keep the, um, make sure we keep the skin on because that's the whole part of the chicken being, um, you know, coming out perfect. Okay, so this is what it looks like, and I'm going to cool it down right now, and then fry, start the frying process, okay? So, see, that's what it looks like right now. Beautiful. And you need, you need, um... You could do it without the skin, folks, but you, the whole idea, you wouldn't get the same results. You need that skin for um, the crispy outside and moist and tender on the inside. So, folks, basically, that's the chicken right here. So, it's going to be um, cooled down now. I'm going to put it on a rock and cool it down. And you have to be careful, folks. Um, you don't um, you know, let it get break or anything. So... I'm just gonna let it cool right now, then um start doing all of that just beautiful frying. Uh, and as I say, there is not gonna be any flour, egg mixed up or any kind of that. This is how the Chinese do it. They're fried chicken and I'm following the recipe to the tea, okay? Uh, that is a rich um stuff leave there I wouldn't know what to do with it so any cool I just um yeah this it has in a lot of um could be you know I think I'm gonna boil it down to um a gravy starter so, so um I don't think we need it because we'll see I'll let it boil down for now and see what happens and tastes very nice folks tastes very nice so um I think I'm just gonna get it off and um put it aside all that soy sauce and all that spices in it right now that gives it that nice um so folks this is the chicken here on the rack okay and it's gonna be um cool down for you know a few minutes and once it cool down we just start we just fry the chicken okay so folks when I come come back in a few minutes we'll start frying the chicken okay and then put it together okay guys I'm back and we will be frying our chicken right now and I'm going to be putting it in right now let me see I think the oil is very hot Because they're far, far bought, mm. far bought already. for a few good minutes, a couple of minutes, it's still flooding, so you have to be careful. Be very careful, folks. And I have it on, on a medium, medium, medium heat. Let it take your time. So the inside will cook while the outside gets crispy, okay? Leave it at that. Add it all over the 
toughness but still add a bit of moisture in it pop so that's why I said you have to be so careful So I'll just let them fry on one side for about 10 to 15 10 minutes and then I flip them over to the next side. Folks, um, what's going on right now? Can be flipped. Oh, yeah, ready to be flipped. Over looking good. Now, this one could be done a little bit more. I want it nice and crispy. Is that just let me eat a little bit more? Just gotta get into the oven for something right now, folks. So just gonna move this out of the way a bit.
let that fry for a few minutes and that will be done. Beautiful. Almost done. But like I said, we're probably off cook already, so we need a lot more um, 
chicken like that more fine right now. I just wanna get that crispy um, outside and um, nice and tender on the inside. So I think the chicken is done. I'm just going to move them from there and now I'll have them done. From all the oil. for crispy outside and um, moist on the inside and they look that way folks look at that yeah all nice and done folks just going to take the part off the eat Oh, look at that. Beautiful. This is just for for this today. And now we're gonna add in some oyster sauce. You, you get the color. Well, you know this is not part of the. Well, since the camera is pointing. Uh, one day I'll do um, 
officially do a stir fry, but because it in most um, Chinese when they do their stuff, they have their fried rice there. And I like mine with a lot of um, mushroom. That's vegetable. That's good. Mushrooms are so good, folks. Even though that's not um, a part of the dish. There goes another plate for it. What can I say? I am very clumsy at things. There's another um, a soup dish break. That's great. You have a little bit more soy sauce. my counter. When you're working with a limited space, folks, you have to be just creative at all times. going to chop up a few pieces.
green onions and five lives. folks here over here right now and folks this is what the chicken looks like I just cut up a piece here and green onions on it so that's basically what it looks like beautiful okay so right I'm just gonna plate so that's Chinese um, chicken no batter, folks. It, it and it just comes out so crispy and nice. I'm just gonna just get it ready right now. Plate it, and I do some fried rice, and I have some cabbage and carrots. Um. Just gonna have like a um, piece of cucumber on the side. Not a lot more is needed, just that. So, folks, I'm just gonna plate some of this delicious mushroom. Fried rice, um, it's just no meat, fried rice. I just did some, I think I put a little eggs in it. And I did some cabbage and carrots, and these are done crispy. So the chicken I'm gonna place now, folks. So I'm gonna put the chicken like this right here. Right there. sticking some carrots and cabbage carrots give it colors like we have some colors going on and look at these are the vegetables I love to cook folks okay that's the cabbage no avocado today though <laughs> And then, folks, I just gonna add a few pieces of cucumbers alongside there. And, folks, um, you can hear me. Um, ah, that is so good. So folks, this is um, Chinese fried chicken with fried rice, and I just did some vegetable. So this is it, what it looks like whole. So this is Chinese fried chicken, and I did some fried rice with um, some carrots and um, cabbage, with a nice vegetable and some nice cucumbers right there. And folks, um, it looks good, it tastes good. So thank you, Olive, for your recipe. Um, I tried it, and it's beautiful. So folks, please like, share, um, and subscribe to the channel for me. Appreciate it. So this is, let me get all these pot handling, all of this stuff over there. By the time I finish cook today, I cook and I break two plates, so um, it's not bad some days, three. So folks, um, that is Chinese fried chicken there, and no butter, um, no, nothing like that. Just straight up, um, you see they process, you brine the chicken. I'm gonna leave all that in the description so you see it. The chicken is brined and um, overnight. And if you're in a hurry and you don't have that much time, even even two to four hours will do. Okay, so um, that's it. So please, folks. Um, there it is, and it's delicious. It's crispy on the outside and nice and tender on the inside. So please like, share, and subscribe. 
big up everybody everybody I hope you have a happy a good sunday okay folks thanks a lot peace